So imagine you're having a conversation with a friend. Do you want to go to dinner on Saturday? I can pick you up. No way. The last time you ran over my cat. No. Remember, I hit your mailbox. I was trying to avoid your cat. Oh, yeah. You're right. It was me who ran over the cat. Now imagine you're telling another friend about that same conversation. You could use reported speech, but chances are you'll make a ton of mistakes and you might just bore your friend. Instead, you can use reporting verb structures. Now these reporting verb patterns help to summarize the information in a more concise way. And they're a more accurate representation of what's been actually said. So let's go ahead and learn about them today. Now there are five different verb patterns that we use for reporting verb structures. The first pattern is verbs plus infinitives. And some verbs that are included with this include agree, offer, promise, and threaten. For example, she offered to drive me. He promised to call me back. Our next pattern is verb plus object plus infinitive. Now we use this verb pattern for verbs such as advise, ask, convince, invite, order, warn. For example, they invited us to the party. The salesperson convinced me to buy the dress. Our third verb pattern are for reporting verbs that are followed by the gerund form. For example, verbs such as recommend, suggest, and remember. For example, he suggested trying that new restaurant. I recommend watching my YouTube videos at least two times a week. And if you don't want to miss my newest upload, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Our next verb pattern is for verbs followed by the preposition and gerund. And we use this for verbs such as admit, apologize, confess, and insist. For example, he apologized for breaking her heart. The child confessed about eating the cookie. I insisted on paying for the bill. Our next verb pattern is verb, followed by object, followed by preposition, followed by gerund form. Now that's a really long formula, and it applies to reporting verbs such as accuse, blame, and praise. The police accused the man of committing the crime. She blamed her sister for breaking the vase. The teacher praised the student for doing such a good job. Now let's go back to our initial conversation. Let's try using our reporting verbs to summarize what was said. I'll make sure to put the reporting verb that I want you to use on the screen. Let's go ahead and practice. Do you want to go to dinner on Saturday? I can pick you up. No way! The last time you ran over my cat! No. Remember, I hit your mailbox. I was trying to avoid your cat. Oh yeah, you're right. It was me who ran over the cat. Now there's one more reporting verb pattern I haven't mentioned yet. And that's when reporting verbs are followed by clauses that use the subjunctive form. Now, if you want to learn more about that, please click or tap the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video.